people. Uh, Joseph Michelli said that a brand is nothing more than what people say about you when you're not around. International branding expert, he says, a brand is nothing more than what people say about you when you're not around. What do they say about you and your company when you're not around? That right there, your reputation, that's why reputation is number one, because I learned in this industry many years ago that uh, prospects have several unspoken questions that they're not going to necessarily come out and ask you that need to be answered in your marketing message. Can anybody tell me what those questions are? Can I trust you? Can I trust you? If that's not in your marketing message somehow, so that's why we start with reputation. All right, you think you can trust Dan? Yeah, what a great guy. I mean, look at this outfit he's got on too. Um, so here's how our five-point marketing message goes. Uh, we help you avoid uneducated, uninformed, and sometimes downright unscrupulous carpet cleaners. You know the type. They advertise a low price. You see one of those ads for $39.95. A guy that looks a little like Charles Manson shows up. Takes more than he's supposed to take. And uh, how many of you have had those experiences where clients tell you about all the horror stories, right? Well, the thing is, is that um, there's five things that set us apart from our competition. Number one is our reputation. We're referred exclusively by some of the areas top interior designers, realtors, and floor covering experts that have been in the business for 50 years. They refer us exclusively, only us. We're referred by home improvement expert Tom Tynan, who's uh, been in Houston for over 20 years on the radio. Uh, we've been featured in the Houston Business Journal. We've been featured on various radio programs and television programs. And by the way, one of the things that you do, I'll, well, I'll get to this in just a second. I'll get to the how-to in just a second. This is the why. So this is why reputation needs to be first, is you need to demonstrate that your company can be trusted. You have to have a message that you can share in your networking groups, on your brochure, and those kinds of things. Does that make sense? Okay. Second thing that sets us apart is our experience. We've been in the business for over 26 years now. We're experienced in all methods of cleaning. Uh, our, uh, we use the most advanced cleaning technology on the market that doesn't overwet the floor or leave a sticky residue behind. All of you have probably experienced that in the past. And uh, we also operate first class customer service standards. We're going to show up on time. We even have an on time guarantee. We're going to treat you and your home with the utmost of courtesy and respect. Our guys are uh, clean cut, uh, courteous, uh, dressed well. And uh, they're just going to treat you and your home with the just utmost of courtesy and respect. Uh, we do background checks on all of our employees so you know who it is that you have in your home. Number three is our training and our education. We're certified by the IICRC, which is the Institute of Inspection, Cleaning, and Restoration Certification. Don't ever use a firm that's not certified by the IICRC. You guys may disagree with that, but it's something that I can point to for my prospects and clients to say, hey, at least they've gone and taken some classes. You know, most people in our industry don't, right? Uh, fifth is our, uh, uh, fourth is our systems. Uh, we operate the most advanced cleaning technology on the market. And I think I may have already covered that. Did I cover systems? What did I miss? Reputation, experience, education, systems. Uh, and guarantee. Um, if you're not thrilled with the service experience you receive from our company, we'll rush back to your location. Very good, Dan. Uh, I got that from uh, the Plaza Hotel. As a matter of fact, that's where I swiped that. I was at the Plaza Hotel in New York City with my wife and my son, and I called down for room service. What do they normally say when you call down for room service? Uh, yeah, yeah, it'll be, you know, 30, 45 minutes. Isn't that what they normally say? Not the Plaza Hotel. They said, uh, Mr. Partridge, we'll rush that right up to you. Rush. Write that down. Still came 30, 45 minutes. <laughs> but somebody's down there rushing on my behalf. Right? 
at least I know that somebody somewhere that created the script is interested in what I'm interested in. George, oh, did George leave? I'm oh, sorry. I should see if people are in the room. Lisa, can you apply these five points to an organizing business in the organizing industry? 100%. 100%. See, this applies to any industry, not just our industry. This is a universal message. Every prospect wants to trust the company that they do business with. Every prospect wants to know you know what you're doing, you have the experience. Every prospect wants to know that you're on the cutting edge of technology and training. Every prospect wants to know you're going to deliver what's paid for, and if you don't, they don't pay, you do. Yesterday, I always... Sorry, I don't want to go over my time because I always think of this stuff that I want to tell you, but so I won't go there. Um, so if you're not in the cleaning business, uh, ask yourself these questions. Uh, you guys are in the dry cleaning business, all right? Who supports you that uh, your clients would recognize, not even necessarily by name, but by industry, that they would recognize as, wow, if they're referred by these types of people, they must be really good. John Browning and, and uh, Jim Bardwell, listen, these guys work with celebrities. These guys work with top interior designers in Nashville, country music stars. You think that they don't have a reputation in that town? Yes. So to build that reputation, you want to go out and start building relationships with people who are in a position of influence. Experience. What kind of experience do you have in your industry? What kind of training do you go through in your industry? And this list can be endless. That's the fodder for your newsletters. That's the fodder for your blogs. That's a, you think that I didn't post that picture of Zig Ziglar with my phenomenal cup on my blog about 10 minutes after I got permission to do so? You bet your bottom dollar I did. Um, that's instant credibility because that man has respect. Um, systems. How is your delivery unique? How does it compare to other people? And guess what? We get through this. They're not our prospect. That's okay. Because we're going to do whatever it takes to get the number of people coming in that we need to get coming in. So what I want you to do this weekend is uh, we have a slide there for you. We have a slide uh, for you to write out your mission statement. You need to have a one-sentence mission statement. Dave DeBlander's mission statement is very simple. It's to wow every single customer. And I want you to craft out your five-point marketing message. Jerry over here is in uh, the uh, automotive repair business. Do uh, most uh, mechanics have a great reputation? Not really. <laughs> Not really, he said. Uh, do they need a little bit of experience if they're going to work on my Lexus? Okay, do they need maybe some special training to work on my Lexus? Yes. Okay, do you need to have a system so I'm not sitting around there waiting mm -hmm. for my car till next week? Right. Yes? And if you guys don't deliver, should I eat that or should you eat that? We eat that. That's what I'm talking about. And, and I have a five, well, actually, seven point You have a seven point marketing message. Ooh, so what are your other two points? Honesty, okay. It's big in our industry. Yep. And um, hmm, I have to look up your. You have to look. That's fine. That's fine. Hey, we're real here, man. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. That's okay. Um, but yeah, and trust, uh, honesty comes under that reputation. If you can't be trusted, if you're not honest, you're not going to have that reputation, right?